Yo, what's going on there, YouTube? <laughs> it's your boy Marcus Levy here for vlog 167 in the Angry Under Vlog series. <laughs> Today, it's fucking bullshit. <laughs> so I'm standing there at Bayview Station, <laughs> watching 100 billion buses pass by, and none of these fuckers know where they're going. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they just mindlessly drive forward on the same route every day, but they don't ever think about where they're going. <laughs> Ask the driver on the 256, do you go to Bell's Corners? He's like, no. But he does. Motherfucker, this is a bus I took two days ago. But I blanked. I blanked. I forgot. <laughs> because I'd never taken it before. So it was a one-off. I took it and then forgot about it. So that's partially my fault. <laughs> but ask that asshole if he goes there and he says no. Because they assume, oh, well, my end destination says Brattlewood on the sign. Don't you know how to fucking read? But I'm like, do you go through Bell's Corners? No. Actually, he does, lying bastard. 262, no, I don't. 263, no, I don't. 252, yeah, I do. And <laughs> drop me off. <laughs> See, <laughs> two days ago, the bus I got on, the 256, would drop me <laughs> thir about 50 yards from my destination. Now, <laughs> I'm a 10 minute walk away. Some bullshit, that's what this is. Um, I've also noticed now, because I've gotten a couple of uh, Latin assignments back now, um, I made <laughs> a little, couple of little errors <laughs> on the assignment, like I mixed up <laughs> the like, uh, accusative and dative meanings, which are like the direct and indirect object of a sentence. I'm not going to bore you with that stuff, but I did mix that up. And then when you make that mistake about 15 times, you lose marks, as I did. And then when I mixed up the English word order when translate, sorry, the Latin word order when translating a sentence from English to Latin, I was like, bruh, and lost quite a few marks on, on that. So the test I got back today, which was a test for Cap it two, chapter two, only got a 78. Didn't even get a sticker. Because doc the doctor professor will put uh, a sticker on if it's over 80%. And, ah, too shy. It just means that tomorrow, Friday, and the weekend, <laughs> need to study up to for the sake of uh, the chapter three test. I did hand in the chapter three assignment, so I'm hoping that one's back in passing range. <laughs> well, well, okay. Technically, anything over a 50 is passing range, but back in sticker range. I don't like not being in sticker range. Did you catch my drift? <laughs> so Nick did up a campaign today, <laughs> and I'm going to be going and trying it out uh, for a little bit with him. Uh, for actually for a while, because tonight we're actually going to do this thing. It's uh, going to be a, probably quite a few hours that so we're going to just chill out there. I'm not in a rush because tomorrow the earliest thing I've got is at uh, 1 p.m. <laughs> and that thing is lasts only five minutes. <laughs> and then once I'm at the university doing that, I'm going to do a workout tomorrow. And then also move on <laughs> to studying up and doing some personal stuff and whatnot. <laughs> Haven't posted any gaming videos recently because I posted a crazy amount the other day. <laughs> but then I'm also behind on recording. <laughs> Haven't really had, haven't really had much time. Got the friggin' low battery notification. See, the way that I look at this is, <laughs> and <laughs> something I always find interesting. So you got this asshole right here, who's part of the People's Party, Azim Huda, right? <laughs> like, who the fuck is that? Ho <laughs> ho. Anyway, <laughs> I only make that joke. <laughs> because the friggin' blue there, the, the conservative party, <laughs> they're bad. They're they're as bad as almost as bad as it gets <laughs> when it comes to not caring about the average person. <laughs> People's party is the racist party. <laughs> Why would somebody, especially an immigrant, want to be a part of the racism party? <laughs> Like, why, why do you want to be in a room with a bunch of other random, racist, middle-aged white guys? Bruh. You're demeaning yourself forever. <laughs> like, you will forever be known as that guy from X country who came over here only to run with a bunch of racist morons. <laughs> I don't feel sorry for you if you've made that decision willingly. Now, if a gun was put to your head, I'm so sorry, but... Nine times out of ten, out of ten times out of ten, it probably was your decision. No one said, please be a part of the People's Party. No, 
No, fuck him. Fuck him. Not a Maxim Bernier fan at all. Let alone all these fucking numbnuts who are gonna run around and scream fucking racist rhetoric at everybody. Like, they're worse than these guys. I never thought you could find anyone worse than these guys. But, these are the guys you want. They're the only ones who are gonna save the fucking planet. I voted for that guy last time. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't live in this riding anymore, so I can't vote for Jean-Luc Cook again. Otherwise, I would. But, <laughs> but I should at the climate summit, uh, climate strike uh, <laughs> on Friday. I should be meeting <laughs> my rep for my area because she says she's gonna be there. So, be a nice time to have a conversation. <laughs> but guys, <laughs> I know this was short. But thanks for watching today's vlog. Check out all the socials down below. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Check out the blog. Post stuff on there a couple times a week, including some philosophical pieces. So hop on over there. <laughs> guys, thanks for watching. Peace out.